Hey guys, welcome back to the Beta TV studio for another live episode of Beta Insider. I'm your host, Noelle, and today we are talking all about hair care. Actually, we're really talking about hair tech, specifically this suite of products right here from Collective Labs. Um, today, my guest is Sarah Fadis, who is the CEO and the co-founder of Collective Labs. You guys, they are taking a really unique approach to hair growth specifically. I'm so excited to get into the conversation and to show you guys the results from these products. You are not gonna believe it. And really what's so cool about these products is they really sit at the intersection of modern science and Eastern medicine. And Sarah is here to tell us more about how she arrived at creating this these products. I'm so excited to chat with her. So let's bring her in now live from LA. We've got Sarah Fadis. Hey, Sarah. Hello. Hi. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm so excited to have you on our show today because you have such an inspiring story and I want to kick things off um, just asking you sort of, you know, how you came up with the idea for Collective Labs. I know that it's very much rooted in your personal experience uh, with hair loss. Yeah, for sure. Um, so hair loss affects about 90% of the world's population at some point in their lives. And and for me, you know, the personal story is, is that I have two kids. I have a 12 year old son, a nine year old daughter, and postpartum hair loss is a real dang thing. And um, both times when I was 30 and 33, I lost my hair. Now you, my hair grew back eventually, but not like the way it was and I was you know the texture was a little weird it was quite thin and then um, a few years later at the age of 39 I actually had a stroke and so that was about four years ago and um, when I had my stroke it was it brought my hair loss back with a vengeance like really bad the worst it's ever been and I was in the hospital for a month um, in rehab and just trying to figure out like how, and this is not a joke walk talk the, like all the basics, but I, I, I was really fixated on the fact that my hair was falling out of my head. And, um, and fortunately, the daughter of two Pakistani immigrants. So I was lucky enough to call in the reinforcements. And they showed up with like vats of homemade stuff, and started sort of massaging my scalp and helping me figure out what, you know, the Eastern medicine side of this could look like instead of just quickly jumping to things like, you know, minoxidil or finasteride. So mm -hmm. I, you know, I left the hospital with all the homemade concoctions, really worked on my scalp for a good few months and it worked. And that was sort of the origin story of Collective Labs, you know, flash forward to April, 2019, when we actually had formulated, I actually have my little bottle right here, um, mm -hmm. our serum. And um, with really, this was, you know, this is the product that worked, you know, it was basically made in my mother's kitchen. And then that, then we took it to the lab, but that, that's really the origin of this. And we, you know, went through, you know, a list of ingredients, which I think we'll just talk about later. But yeah, that, I mean, that was really the origin story of, of the company. And my co-founder has a very similar story in that he is Indian and it was very similar in terms of hair loss and using Ayurvedic ingredients and remedies to help his hair loss. Wow, well, looking at you now, I would have never thought that you experienced hair <laughs> loss. I also would have never thought that you were a stroke survivor. Um, mm -hmm. Amazing, amazing story. Tell me about, I'm sure, you know, <laughs> recovering from a stroke is already, you know, so difficult and you know, emotionally taxing, but then to lose your hair on top of that, for people that haven't yet experienced hair loss and that 90% statistic is just wild to me. Yeah. Um, what are some of the emotions tied to, tied to hair loss that people don't really think about? Yeah, I mean, I think, gosh, hair just in general is very an emotional topic, right? Whether or not you're mm -hmm. losing it or not. And um, f when we talk to our customers and we have like, tens of thousands of customers. It is really, it boils down to about two emotions. It's shame, which is what we always say is like shed shame, not hair, because we want to normalize the hair loss conversation, but also fear. So there's like a fear of, and again, this is just sort of my analysis, but it's like the fear of aging, right? Holy crap, I'm losing my hair. That means I'm like closer to dying or I'm aging. And with like all of these anti-aging, you know, I guess, movements, it, it's hard to sort of digest. I mean, the other thing is, is like, is the fear of 
making the situation worse. So what if you pick mm-hmm. something off of your shelf at like Walgreens or CVS, you don't know what it is and it makes it worse. And then I, for me, you know, personally, it was the fear of judgment. So losing a hair at such a young age was really, I didn't want people to judge me. I didn't want people to like make a snap judgment on the fact that, you know, like I was sick or whatever it was. Like I just didn't want judgment. So I think fear and shame are like the two big emotions. Yeah. Now you mentioned, you know, people that go to their local, you know, pharmacy or Target or whatever and just kind of blindly yeah. grab something off the shelf. I remember um, growing up and seeing a lot of hair growth infomercials, and I think there probably still are quite a few yeah, out there. Yeah, there are. <laughs> <laughs> but I know a lot of those products are filled with toxic chemicals, and I'm so curious yeah. why it is that these products have, have dominated the market for so long. Yeah, I mean, I think I I was curious, too, when we started the company. I You know, part of it is, is like, it's straight up marketing, right? So these larger companies, those that, you know, when Rogaine um, or Finasteride was like, you know, Propecia, right? So they're backed by large pharmaceutical companies. So there's that, like, piece of it. So it's marketing. But it, it is, like, very fear-based, right? So it's like, mm. don't, you better start this now. Um you should, you know, use this product. I, I, that's why I think that there's been a, a big dominance in the market from, a, you know, sort of a marketing dollars. I would also say like the FDA and not, and like not attacking the FDA, but like the FDA has only approved two hair loss medications ever wow. in the history of the United States, right? So that's, that's Rogaine or Minoxidil and that is Finasteride or Propecia. Those two products are available to men. Only one, I repeat one, is available for women, right? So I do think like they were the only name in in the market for years, like 50 years, you know? And so now, thankfully, it's not just Collective Labs. There are other brands that are sort of normalizing the hair loss conversation, really saying you can do this with efficacious, cleaner ingredients, you know, if if you allow us to sort of enter your daily regimen. Yeah. I mean, the first thing that I noticed going on to the Collective Labs website is how many women um, you have portrayed. And this really is, I mean, it it is for men as well, but you're including women into the conversation. And and speaking of those infomercials, it's always men. It's always men that are depicted as the ones, you know, um, suffering from hair loss, needing products. Um, so I just think it's amazing um, that you you really are being so inclusive and saying, hey, women are dealing with this as well. And I'm a woman who has personally suffered from this. Yeah. Um, and, and here are some products that are going to be good for men and for women because it's a natural approach to the problem. Yeah. Tell me about, so you talked about the serum being the first product that you guys came out with. Tell yeah. me about this the science behind the serum. What What is it about the serum that makes it so effective? So I would say it's the ingredients, you know, so our serum, just to take a step back, is a daily use revitalizing serum that treats your scalp with amino acids and minerals, all different kinds of botanicals to really balance your um, oils on your scalp and maintain, mm-hmm. to maintain healthy hair growth. Um, the ingredients stimulate hair follicles for growth. Um, and also, like I said, balance, balance the sebum on your scalp. You know, we have we have customers um, that have androgenic alopecia, like you said, male pattern baldness. We have women, female hair mm-hmm. um, pattern baldness, excuse me, um, as well as things like postpartum, you know, I will say psoriasis as well. But I think the ingredients are the most important thing, obviously, right? When we, when we formulated the product, it was all about efficacy and making sure the damn thing worked, you know, because we didn't want to infiltrate the market with like, you know, snake oil, we wanted to actually help people. And so for us, it was really about efficacious ingredients that increased blood flows, stimulated your follicles, fortified your strands and really achieving balance on your scalp to grow hair. Um, Some of our key ingredients are things like biotin and ginseng. So biotin, as many of us know, right, is a vitamin that strengthens your scalp and Mm -hmm. hair. 
Um, and many of us take it, you know, as just sort of a random supplement um, to help with that. The other big, you know, really efficacious ingredient is ginseng, which is a microcirculator. It's a traditional Chinese herb that helps with microcirculation, helps you restore and balance your hair growth cycle. So those are our two big ones. We do have things like pumpkin seed oil, which is a natural DHT blocker. And I don't you know, for those of you out there, DHT is the um, the hormone that is responsible for hair loss in mm -hmm. both men and women. So um, we found pumpkin seed oil as a really great alternative to like the harsh chemicals for DHT. Um, the other, the other ingredient that I love and I always talk about, if you've ever seen me like do any other interviews is burdock root. So burdock root is an anti-inflammatory, antifungal, but it's moisturizing as well. What's really cool about this ingredient is that it, it also soaks up the sebum in your scalp. So like come with me on this ride is, is that now I'm starting to use it as almost like a dry shampoo, the serum as a dry shampoo, because it will soak up the oil. Um, so it's like the secret ingredient that has all these different things. So I would say those are our four main ones. Um, we have a couple of other really good ingredients, but in the end, it's all about function and benefits. So there's no fillers in the product, which is really important to us too, to really keep it clean. The last thing I'll say is, is that these ingredients were sourced from all over the world. Mm -hmm. um, so ginseng and, you know, from South Korea, and then we have biotins in the United States, right? We'd be a pumpkin seed oil from um, Asia, I think. Now I think it's South Korea as well. And then burdock root from France. So that's all like available on our website, obviously. But like, I, I think for us, it was really about bringing you know, digging into our roots as, as a founder and bringing the right ingredients to, you know, the masses. Mm -hmm. And I want to yeah. show our viewers some before and after photos because it's, it's yeah. just astounding, the results. You guys, take a look at these photos. I mean, you just see it, there's so much more hair, right, in the before and the after. Um, I think we have another photo as well. I mean, look at that. Sarah, <laughs> That's I, how did you... How did you feel when, when you saw these results for yourself and started to realize, oh my gosh, I created a, a miracle worker, really? I mean, Noelle, like I don't, it was really like I needed to find something for myself, you know, yeah. and then to see these thousands of people, like they send their pictures to us just like proactively. And I've actually talked to both of these people, Kevin and Iggy, <laughs> who you just showed, and they're, and I've seen more recent pictures of them. And I just feel like, we are doing good, um, yeah. and I want to continue to innovate on that, right? We are helping. Hair loss is a, is, is a health topic, um, so there's, you know, a lot of ways we can educate and work with our consumers on mm -hmm. not just growing their hair, but actually from a wellness perspective, you know, taking care of oneself to because your hair is a reflection of your health. Yeah. And I want to plug a personal testimonial because the first time that I used these products, I mean, I, I was just amazed first and foremost at how well they clean my hair, clean my scalp, especially at, you know, being natural. Um, I think some people tend to be a little bit avoidant of those natural products because they don't have those harsher ingredients that tend to give you that squeaky kind of clean feeling but really are stripping you know your scalp of all of those you know beautiful oils and things um and so i just it felt so clean and then also i it really made me think more about focusing on my scalp area okay. and not just my ends for years i was always putting oils and things right really focusing on the ends not realizing that that hair health starts at the root yeah. um and then as soon as I, you know, did my blow dry and everything, the shine factor was insane. I have, I've <laughs> always looked at pictures um, of, you know, models and always like, how do they get that shiny hair? And it was like, for the first time I was like, oh my gosh, I, I have that. I have that, that hair. Um, so thank you so much for giving me, for giving me such beautiful oh, you have hair. gorgeous hair. Thank you. Well, and it's it's made so much better by your products. And I love the shampoo and conditioner. So glad that you came out with these to accompany the serum. Tell me what inspired you to create kind of this full suite and this full regimen. Yeah, I think, you know, one thing we talk to our customers about daily is a regimen. Like you hit it right there is, is that 
you know, what we started finding out was that when customers were calling in or emailing us when they were using our serum only, they would then ask, like we would say, you know, what, what kind of shampoo do you use? And they would respond with a random brand, but that random brand would have, you know, sulfates, parabens, like the bad silicones, right? So stuff that wasn't really good for your scalp, things that clogged your follicles and prevented hair, healthy hair growth. Um, so we started recommending, you know, our favorites, our cleaner favorites. And it was really like we would email tech, tell people go to Amazon and buy blah, blah, blah brand, right? And then about, you know, I guess it was two years ago, we said, wow, you know, so many customers are asking, why don't we formulate? So we spent time with our chemist formulating a clean shampoo and conditioner that really worked together well with our serum. It was really important to establish the right regimen. So shower to, you know, right out after shower. But I think the key is, and I, I focused a lot on like the pH of all the products to make sure that they work sort of in harmony. Now you don't need to use the shampoo and conditioner all together with our serum. We, we recommend it, but but it was really focused on making sure they all worked harmoniously or complementary together. But it really came from our customers asking for more. Um, and, and again, like, you know, while you had asked me, like, how do I feel when I see results or when I talk to my customers, it's, it's awesome to see like people want more. We are a trusted brand when it comes to hair loss and um, scalp health. Um, so this was such a natural addition to the product line. Definitely. And, and many of, well, the products really do, the, the ingredients overlap here. Um, mm -hmm. And you mentioned yep. a couple. Um, I want to point out a couple that I, that I took note of. Malabar Kino Bark. Yeah. Never heard of that. And then Lilac Stem Cells. Um, yeah. how, did you, how did you discover sort of the, the hair growth properties of these really obscure ingredients that you don't see in other hair care products? Yeah. So for Malabar Kino Bark, like you said, it's, derived from the sap of the Indian Kino tree. So I'm again, South Asian. Mm -hmm. And so this is just something that our people use. So like, this is something for real I've known about since I was very young. Um, what's awesome about it is, is that you can buy it commercially. And, and also, it works as a, it bounces the sebum on your scalp and prevents, mm -hmm. you know, infection of your hair follicles. It's a natural antifungal. So that's why we put it into the product. It's in our serum as well as our conditioner. Yeah. And then um, the lilac stem cell is actually in all three of our products that you have in front of you. Um, it is hands down my favorite um, ingredient. I know I said burdock root, but like <laughs> lilac stem cells I'm like obsessed with because there are clinicals around the shine it provides. So you talked about the shine and you know what you get when you use the product. So you used all three products probably together and each one of them has lilac stem cells in it. I mean, there's clinicals behind breakage, but what's also great is, is that it really does like fortify your strands. So when you're blow drying or even just combing after your shower um, or application, it, it will help strengthen your strands. So those are like really wonderful ingredients. I think from a sourcing perspective, you know, lilac stem cells is really interesting and it came from our chemist, actually, Jesse, who um, works with the manufacturer or the farmer. Um, it's a biodiverse ingredient. So, uh, you know, Collective Labs is not only a hair care company and a scalp care company, but we also care about the environment. And so for us, biodiversity, biodiversity of our ingredients is super important. So we do have biodiverse ingredients. What that really means is like the farmer, it, it, this is a you know, made to order products. So we order, let's just say like a kilo of stem cells. The farmer will go grow the stem cells and then go to his lab, which is on his farm. This is in France. And then he will, you know, separate um, the stem cells. So that helps the environment because you're not killing lilac and like driving it to extension, but you are um, using, you know, the sort of the core. Um, wow. So those are, it's a really awesome ingredient. I think it's amazing how transparent you and your co-founder are in terms of, you know, sharing things just like what you've shared. You know, this is where we're getting these ingredients that like we yep. will tell you exactly where they're coming from um, and, and exactly what they're going to do and the safety and the science behind them. Why was it so important for you to be so transparent with the consumer about what is in your products? 
I mean, I'm a consumer as well, right? And I, so part of, you know, my background is also in natural foods. So prior to being at Collective Labs, I was in natural foods. And so in natural foods, you go to any grocery store, you can generally find some of the brands are very transparent about the farms they're getting their sugar from or their cocoa from or you name it, right? And so I had already sort of that in my DNA. So when we started Collective Labs, I wanted to get to know our our suppliers, right? Our farmers in France or the farmer in Chile that does, you know, other ingredients. So I think for, for me, that was just sort of a personal, like love affair of storytelling. Um, but that all said, I think it is really important as a consumer to know what you're ingesting and putting on your body. You know, your skin is the largest organ in your body. And I mean, I, I have two younger kids. So that's sort of when I made my switch over from like synthetic and harsh chemicals to more natural and clean. And, and for me, like shampoo and conditioner, like, and body wash and all that kind of stuff I had never thought about. Um, but, but your skin's the biggest organ. Like, so you got to take care of it and, and know where, I mean, my perspective is know where your ingredients are coming from. For us, it's like it's really fun to get to know the farmers and the suppliers um, because you are helping them locally because we do source globally. We do have um, a partnership with the Amazonian Alliance, which, you know, whatever ingredients we're sourcing from the Amazon, we give back to the community down there. So it's, it's been a fun sort of social goodness um, part of the company as well. Wow. Yeah. I love that you're doing good and doing right by your consumer, but also by these communities and by the environment. Mm -hmm. um, and I just want to point out to, for our viewers, um, a couple other things, guys, these products smell, you're going to feel <laughs> like you are in a five-star spa, like in your shower, oh. you will go to the five-star spa with, with these, with the way that these smell. So I just want to point that out. Um, and also, I mean, I have, I'm just giving away some of my secrets here, I have color treated hair. And Sarah, I have noticed that my color has been maintained, um, yeah, which is another yeah. thing I think some people get, uh, you know, weary of with natural products is that it will, it will not, it will not be color safe. Um, yep. So I just wanted to put that out there as well. And, and also, I mean, you, we talked about just general scalp health. You don't have to be suffering from hair loss to use these products. Um, I think this is a great gift as well for, uh, you know, someone, maybe someone special in your life or even just a friend, um, just get them turned on to these products because they are so wonderful. Um, and Sarah, I know we've got, we've got more products coming from Collective Labs and I want to hear about what is, what is next? What can we expect to see in the future? Yeah, for sure. So from, you know, in the future, so I'm just gonna take a step back and say we launched um, supplements um, about six weeks ago. So we did take a moment and say, and this is again from our customers, um, let's do something because our customers were asking what kind of um, things and pills should we be taking, vitamins should we be taking. Mm -hmm. And so we would recommend our favorites again and we found ourselves sort of in the same place. So we decided to formulate supplements and a supplement pack, daily supplement pack. Again, what's great about it is all the packaging is curbside compostable. Like you're sort of getting the vibe around sustainability for us too. Yeah. Um, so we do have supplements um, and those are, you know, sort of our baseline. We plan on coming out with a vegan line of supplements within the next six months as well. And then um, uh, without giving away the, the all the product lines, more scalp and um, styling products as well. So um, we, we will have a product launch in October of this year. Um, which will be just a really like a unique product. I am so we've been working on it, Noel, for two years, and it's finally like wow. the baby that's being birthed. And <laughs> I am so excited. Yeah. So that's we have one more product launch in October, and then we're going to do three, two or three in Q1 of next year. Oh um, from a styling perspective, yeah. So uh, a lot Sarah, of all those focused so on scalp and hair health. Yeah. So we're super excited. I think that this is just people. I mean, it's such a confusing category and we're here to sort of cut through the clutter and to become a trusted brand and really clean and effective product. Yeah. Well, my hair is absolutely loving Collective Labs. It is primed and ready for the next, <laughs> the next suite of products. Um, and yes. so excited to, to try the supplements too. Sarah, where can people go to learn more about Collective Labs? So they can go to our website, collectivelabs.com. They can go to the beta site, obviously, and purchase. And there's a little bit of information there. And then we have a YouTube channel. 
um, Collective Labs, as well as Instagram, Collective Laboratories. Awesome. Um, with Instagram, seems to be like the most active, um, yeah. but obviously you can go to our website anytime too. Yep, lots of research there for people to learn more. Sarah, thank you so much for joining me today. So good having you here. Oh, thank you so much, Noelle. This was awesome. Alrighty, and thank you all for joining us here on this live episode of Beta Insider. Again, like Sarah said, head on over to beta.com to purchase your collective labs regimen today. You guys won't be sorry. Seriously, you're gonna love these products. And we'll see you again back here very soon in the Beta TV studio for more live episodes of Beta Insider. Bye.